When you think of pineapples, I bet you think of Hawaii. And a lot of our pineapples come from Hawaii, but now a lot of them also come from Costa Rica. A lot of people don't know what to do with the ones that are fresh. They do know what to do with the ones that are in cans. In the cans, you can get them crushed, you can get them sliced, you can get orange, you know, the juice, and maybe it's with oranges. Um, but my favorite thing to have is the mango. The mango pineapple salsa. Is that stuff good? It also comes frozen in, ju in juice and usually with other fruits. Uh, there's pineapple slices and pineapple juice in the cans. Now, I figure everybody knows what to do with those. You open it up and you eat them or drink it. That's pretty much it. But with this guy, you got to do some work to get to it. But let me tell you, there is nothing like the fresh taste of pineapple. Although the canned goods come really close and you don't lose much nutrients in the canning of pineapple. And a lot of people don't know, but you can actually, the easiest way to take care of a pineapple is to bake it. And it's real easy to get it ready. You take your knife and you cut off almost all of the oops, leaves. And I, and I think that's so it fits in the pan. But you take off almost all the leaves, you put this into a dish, you put it in the oven about 350, and you cook it till it's tender. And right now, you're like, I can't squish it. When it gets tender, you can. And that is actually a delicious way to eat it. Now, most of us want to eat it fresh. And there's two ways you can do this. You've got to get this peel off. And you can peel this and take this off and then slice it up. Or you can slice it up and then peel it. I prefer to peel it and then slice it. So the first thing you do is you take off the bottom. Now, when you were buying this pineapple, you needed to look at the bottom. And if it was soft and watery, no, don't buy that one. So we want to take this end off. And that's that end. And then I want to turn it around and I want to take off the rest of this, of the leaves. You don't want to take off too much of the meat, but you got to get past the bottom of it. You actually can plant this and grow a pineapple tree. It takes about five years. And if you have the right climate, but you could actually do that. So this is a really short one and I chose it because it was really short and I knew it wouldn't be quite as messy. Doing this can be quite messy. Now the way I like to do it is I take, go start at the top and you just kind of follow the contour of the pineapple. And believe it or not, a pineapple is actually a fusion of about a hundred flowers. They start out separately and then they fuse together. Indeed, an odd way to make a fruit that is so delicious. So we've got to take off the peeling. Uh, sometimes they can have little stickers on here. And if you leave a little bit of the brown, the little brown pieces, they won't hurt you. If they have stickers inside, you might want to cut them out. Okay, so we've gotten all the way around. Now let me move this out of the way so I can show you how to core it the easy way. You make it into quarters on top. You'll see there's the core. There's a little round piece in the middle. It is not edible and it's really fibrous and you want to take that out. So you can slice it and then cut each one out. You could use a little cookie cutter or a melon baller. But the, the, if you wanted slices and you want the hole in the middle, you got to do that. If not, you can just go down the middle of the core and you can do this in quarters. Oops, see they're all kind of slippery. And then you take your knife and you take out the core. And you just discard that. And it has a whole different feel. And it's kind of, feels like a, I don't know, kind of like paper almost with pineapple juice on it. So we can do that with these and then can do that with the others. And then when you slice it, you have small slices. And if you see some of these brown things that maybe have a little sticker in it like that one does, when I get to that slice, I can just cut it out. Oops. And this one has a bad spot. You can tell where, it, where the little uh, end of the flower was. So I probably wouldn't use that one. Okay, so now we have all of our slices here. We want to put them in a bowl. I'm going to take out, oops, this one right here, I'm going to cut off the part that's brown. And 
to think that these were not introduced to Hawaii until 1813, but by the end of the 1800s, they were canned pineapple. So that's what you do to get the slices. We just peel it, we core it, the two cores, we can throw those away. And then we have the slices. And you can add some orange juice to this. You can add the citrus juices to make it flow really well. Now when you buy one, you want to be sure that it's heavy for its weight. And then the other thing to do is to smell it again. I like smelling fruits because you can tell a lot. And it kind of has a piney smell to it. And they named it a pineapple because they thought it looked like pine cones. Um, and it does have kind of a piney smell. Um, but the main thing is to be sure that it's solid, it's not squishy, that the bottom is not soft. Uh, because that means that it is overripe. And if you can tell by this color that this one's going to get there pretty soon because the gold is becoming more than the yellow. You can just throw that part away. Now pineapple has, is uh, easy to keep, but you can't keep it too long. When you get it from the store, you need to use it within three days. And if it was ripe like this one, it needed to be kept in the refrigerator. If it was green, which you really shouldn't buy green when you can't tell about how long that's going to take to ripen. Um, but you can, and you can keep that one at room temperature to three or four days until it gets ripe. And then the uh, canned pears, I mean the canned pineapple, once you get it open and you want to, you know, you don't use it all, you can keep it in the refrigerator about four or five days, but I always take it and put it in another container because I get the, tend to think that it kind of tastes like the can. Now the pineapple in the can is another juice and the other juice is frozen. Um, but you don't find pineapple frozen by itself usually. You usually find it with other things. Go to my website. I have more information about pineapples. It is one of the most refreshing fruits to eat. Um, and it's really good for the kids to see how a pineapple is on the inside, not just from the outside. Um, and this is a sure sign of, of summer, is having pineapple. Great for barbecues. You can do them on the grill. You could actually cut these in the long way and put these on the, the long ones on the grill. That way they won't fall through the grate and eat it up.